Okay, that's my setup for drying the lures if I'm working with epoxy. So that lid is to prevent any sort of dust coming in. Okay, first I build the box and then I put the ball bearings everywhere, four different ones, but I also put the swivel here just in case that ball bearing, if it's too, too tight, the ball bearing wouldn't spin nicely. Okay, and then with these springs, you can easily just, you know, attach to these alligator clips. Okay, so on this side, I just bought these alligator clips from local store. They're a little bit bigger, they're electric ones. So when you open the end part, I don't think if I, I have here, Okay, I just open this and it fits perfectly on the motor with a little bit of glue. It holds pretty good with the epoxy. And then on the other side, inside here, I put all the motors from the microwave. There is a main switch here, okay, in case something goes wrong. And then I have individual switches here for each of them so why i did this like this because it's much easier to do one by one because if i have like this one here i have another one here i don't know if you can see it's very difficult to work with this one you can put four or five lures oh actually i can put more but it's hard to uh, brush them you know so but with this one very simple okay is that good enough i hope it is